All right, today let's take a look at using the ADC to measure analog voltages. So we have our senior design workspace already open. I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. Let's name this analog. Now the first thing we're going to drag in is going to be our ADC. Let's change our input range to be the highest we can get, which is VDDA. That should be 3.3 volts. Uh, we can take that off. And then for our low range would be VSSA. So we'll get from 0 to 3.3. Um, this we can make signed just because it likes to consider for noise, it might go negative. And let's take off one of these channels. And instead of making it differential, we're just going to measure a single voltage, so single-ended. And we'll use single shot. Cool. Now we're going to take a voltage source that we know the, the, the answer to, which is VREF. And VREF is des defined in the system tab of design wide resources. So we'll see that the band gap value is 1.2 volts. So uh, this should be 1.2 volts right here. Now, just to double check stuff, we are also going to uh, reference that voltage on the Slayer. And let's change the pin for channel zero. Um, and let's make that pin nine five. Great, I'm gonna go ahead and compile this. All right, the build looks good. So let's go ahead and write the code. So we're actually gonna do this on the Cortex M0. So go ahead and open main underscore cm0p.c. And kind of as always, we need to start up the component. So ADC start. And let's take a look at how this works. So open the PDL documentation. And what we're looking for is a way to start the ADC collecting a a data point. Functions and let's take a look at the basic functions. So I see start convert. Let's try that out. Cool. So we're going to do CYSAR start convert. Uh, this will be the SAR type, which is SAR. And we'll do single shot for this. CY, SAR, start conversion. CY, SAR. And we're not going to do continuous, let's do single shot. Now let's create a volatile floating point number. Volatile because we're not actually going to use this for anything and the compiler will optimize it out if we don't call it volatile. Value equals CY SAR get result 16. And this get result 16 we also will find in um, here. Now that value is not an actual voltage, so we're going to use one of the conversion functions that the ADC has in order to convert it over to
And just so we have a place for the breakpoint to stop, let's do a delay here. So we start the ADC, we start a conversion, we get the value of that conversion, and then we convert it to millivolts. Now, in order for me to test this, I'm going to first test it with the debugger. So let's go ahead and debug this. All right, so let's give it a go and see what the value is. We have 1.184 volts. So let's go ahead and check to make sure we have our design-wide resources and system. So it should be 1.2. So this is about 1.2. That's good. Um, now let's go ahead and verify it with our Slayer. So I have the Slayer hooked up to pin 95. And we're going to go ahead and start this. And we see we get 1.196, which is about 1.2, which is what we expect.